This is it, the Bachelor finale is right around the corner, and we have one last preview to break down for the season. So, will Joey end up alone, as this preview from the Women Tell All has teased? Well, I'm not so sure about that. So, for the last time this season, let's break this thing down, and as per usual, please, no posting any outright spoilers unless you can back it up with sleuthing, and a link to the full preview is in the description. This is the biggest week of my life. I'm falling in love with both Daisy and Kelsey. I can see a future with both of them. Daisy is someone who gets me to my core. Well, here we are, the finale with our final two women. And if you're new to this franchise, or not familiar with how this episode works, essentially, Daisy and Kelsey get two more dates. The first being the Meet the Family date, where they're introduced to Joey's family, then it's the Last Chance date, which is basically just a final one-on-one, -on -one and a last chance to get anything out there before the lead makes their decision. But here in this section, I have two things to say. The first is a note on these Meet the Family dates, which for this season, they seem to have filmed on the same day. Something that's not often the case. Now why am I bringing this up? Well, I really wanted to know who Joey's mom was talking about in this moment from last week's preview. The way she looks at you is different. But if we take a look at what Joey and his mom are wearing in this moment, well, it matches to both of these shots we see here with Kelsey coming for her visit, and then also here with Daisy. So I guess this was filmed on the same day, and bully for us. Now I do have a speculation on who she's actually talking about here, but we'll get to that later. For now, the other thing I wanted to note was this last chance date with Daisy and her outfit here. Once again, she is wearing a red bathing suit, and that's something we've looked for in these previews as it matches this moment from the Night One season preview. I'm so feeling it. Now that's not something you want to be feeling on your final date before a potential proposal. But whether or not Daisy isn't feeling it herself, or she just isn't feeling it from Joey, I think what she's saying here lines up with the direction her story has been going in for the past few weeks. That when it comes to Daisy and Joey, there are still doubts in the air that just aren't present with Kelsey. Despite Joey and Daisy making great progress, and even saying the L word, as we'll see up ahead. It's a feeling I've never had before. The truth is, I do love you. With Kelsey, we have this physical bond and connection that that's real. I can't tell you how much he means to me. Alright, now if anyone was going to get Joey's mom to gush about the way she looks at him, it's gotta be here with Kelsey, right? I mean, this woman is so gaga for Joey, she dropped a note on his door saying we need to talk, and all it actually was was her really wanting to tell him she missed him. I mean, I'm just going off my gut, and I suppose she could be talking about Daisy, but Daisy's much more laid back, and as far as I'm concerned, all signs point to Kelsey. Even though these women have given me nothing but confidence that they will choose me, there is still a doubt that they would say yes. Has she expressed that she wants to marry you? I'm just nervous. About what? About it all working out. All right, now here, Joey continues to talk about his doubts and how they mostly revolve around things just not working out, which all seems very general, general fears that any lead might have at this time, and I guess what I'm saying is it's not necessarily coming from anything specific that one of the ladies does or says. However, there is one important thing I want to point out from this section, and it involves the dresses Kelsey and Daisy are getting ready to put on for the final rose ceremony. First, the fact that they're both even prepping these dresses means they'll both be showing up in the end. Something we'll also just literally see for ourselves later on in the preview. But second, take note of Daisy's red dress as it's going to come back in this next section. It just felt like something was a little like off with us. And like it shouldn't feel this way. It keeps getting like more real and it's terrifying. So here we get a look at both women expressing fears in the lead up to the proposal. However, Kelsey's fears seem to be more her being terrified of losing Joey the realer things get, while Daisy on the other hand says something feels off with them and it shouldn't feel that way. Note that here she's in the same outfit she was in while prepping for her final rose ceremony outfit, 
and if you take a look at that red dress, it matches the one she's in right here where she says it shouldn't feel this way. Which I mean, we see the words coming out of her mouth here. Even if they edited her saying that together with her talking about something feeling off, that doesn't change the fact that Daisy is in her final rose ceremony outfit saying it shouldn't feel this way. Which is not good. But okay, let's continue to the final rose ceremony footage. Today I woke up and I truthfully felt the weight of all of this. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do, and I'm still afraid that this might not work out. So at last, we have final rose ceremony footage that isn't just of Joey looking grim or sad, as both Daisy and Kelsey show up in their final rose ceremony outfits, and I'm digging the confidence Kelsey has showing up in all white. But she should be confident. She's gonna get picked. It even looks a little bit later in the day when Kelsey comes out compared to Daisy. And they always send the runner-up out first, cause it'd be pretty harsh to let Joey get engaged and go, okay, now let's film that breakup scene. But I mean, the daylight thing could be my bias on who I think Joey's choosing playing tricks on me. Still, as I see it, it would take some monumental shift in the forces of nature to get Joey to propose to Daisy over Kelsey, especially with all this additional doubt footage. However, the preview still has one last tease for us, and it's this never happened before moment they've put in the previews all season. I'm gonna fast forward through just a little bit of it because there's a lot of footage of Joey in tears that's been repeated, and then we get that moment where Joey takes off a suit jacket and says that can't have happened before, except this time Time they have him saying this. I didn't expect it to go that way. Okay, so here the preview actually ends, and it cuts to the studio of the Women Tell All with everyone looking dumbfounded while Jesse Palmer says, You'll never see it coming. And everything here makes it seem like Joey gets rejected at the end. Him walking into an SUV, him looking down in the SUV, the lone rose left behind, and I don't buy a second of it. I mean, are they asking us to really trust them on this one after just teasing that we need to talk moment for so long and it ended up being absolutely nothing? Nope. Not gonna happen. Cause who's to say that this isn't Joey sad about breaking up with the runner-up? Who's to say this shot isn't from him getting into the SUV to head to the rose ceremony? Same with this shot. Throw these shots in along with the shot of the rose, which could be taken from any time, and slap it on after all this final rose ceremony footage, and it sure looks like Joey's headed home alone, but we don't know that. Also, are you expecting me to believe that this woman, this woman rejects Joey? Come on. Or that Joey, after boohooing for weeks about being afraid of not being picked in return, then goes and decides to not pick anyone himself? Can't get not picked if you dump everyone first, am I right? Tabs forehead. I'm expecting to see Joey and Kelsey get engaged, and whatever this never before happened thing is, it's with Daisy. I'm going with Daisy comes out and doesn't let Joey speak or something. Like she just arrives and goes, I know it's not me, so don't bother. Or we've been feeling off, so let's just end it here and you go enjoy your proposal. Joey then walks off for a breather, says wow that couldn't have happened before, then comes back to propose to Kelsey. The end happily ever after. So that's it for this preview breakdown for The Bachelor finale. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, comment your thoughts and theories down below, and subscribe to the channel for more content. And until next time, Bachelor Fan Take out. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do, and I'm still afraid that this might not work out.